Welcome traders. In today's lesson, we're going to dive more into robustness testing. This time we'll use high resolution data to test the same strategy using the same logic. This is more accurate representation uh, of the actual events. Then we'll use Monte Carlo trade manipulation to simulate data variation and the results of that data variation. Then we'll check the simulation curves for each successful strategy. Welcome traders. In today's video, we're going to dive into robustness testing. So I already built some strategies, again, using the uh, dollar yen, but uh, this time on daily time frame. And I uh, built it using a simple criteria, trend following and then generated 2,500 strategies. Then I moved these strategies to the retester. I copied it here. Then I tested it on the full data, full period from 2003 till uh, 2018 December. And we filtered uh, on uh, return to drawdown ratio more than one and profitability more than $2,500. So we ended up with 283 strategies. We will use the basic robustness testing, which is testing using the higher precision. Remember, we used the one daily bar. Let's uh, see, we, we used the daily bar, but using a one minute time frame. So we, the software, not we, the software did build a one bar, a daily bar, out of the minutes. That means we have higher resolution data that we can use. And this is the higher resolution data. So now, instead of the selected time frame, which is the daily, now we're going to use the one minute time frame. Now, when you, we use the one minute time frame, we have, we can filter now on this test. So we want the net profit, which was 2,500 before, we wanted it more than 2,500. Now, in this case, we it's better to use a ratio. So we'll use net profit. Of the main data. And now we're going to we want the net profit to stay, let's say, 80 percent. So let's say a strategy has made $30,000 in the test we have. When we do the high resolution test, we want the strategy to make at least 80% of that $30,000. Also, the drawdown ratio, we always want it to be more than one, the return to drawdown ratio. Now, of course, you can add as much or as less as you like. This is exactly the same filtering as in here. The strategies filtered, we can have a new data bank that has robustness test one. So now I'm going to test the strategies in the, in the full data test bank and move it to the robustness test one bank. In order to remove only the successful strategies, Again, we need to delete the failed strategies. So we go to progress, start, and now we're testing high resolution data using same logic from these 283 strategies and move the successful one to the robustness test one. Now, obviously, most of them will pass because there shouldn't be a lot of discrepancy between the one minute and the daily time frame. But let's see how many will pass. Okay, we're done. So 274 strategies passed out of 283. Now, the next test...
we will manipulate the trades through a Monte Carlo trade manipulation. We're going to randomize the trades order. That means we already have number of trades in each strategies. If we pick a strategy, then we go to list of trades. See these trades, they are numbered based on uh, which one happened first. So this trade first, second, third, and so forth. Till, so this strategy has 279 trades. Now what if trade one happened here or here and trade two happened at number 101. So this is trade manipulation. That means we're going to randomize the trade order with the method of resampling because you have exact and resampling. Exact meaning moving the same trade to another position. That means trade number two is going to be moved to trade number 42. And whatever trade three, it will be now trade two. With resampling, that means trade number two can be at uh, position 100, at position 57, at position 189. It's the same trade, same loss or same profit, same everything. The successful simulations will be the one that has 60% net profit of the original strategy and 175% more drawdown than the original strategy. We're going to save and you can do it on the same data bank or you can now create a new data bank and let's call this Monte Carlo 1. So we're going to test from this data bank to this data bank and remember to delete the one that is not successful. We'll start the test and the successful strategies will be transferred here and we can see that now we have a new tab which is called Monte Carlo test. These are all the simulation curves so some of them were very good, some of them bad and we have the average in the middle. And then if we pick other strategies so as you can see we're done and only 10 strategies pass the trade manipulation out of 274. As you can see the program is very powerful and very customizable and you can do much more tests and filtering here with the Monte Carlo trade manipulation than any other software and of course these are only the basic uh, robustness testing so stay positive and I'll see you in the next video